Welcome back to Annie Nova's apartment makeover. If you haven't been following along, you'll want to catch up on all these episodes before starting this one just so that you understand what's going on because unlike other apartment makeovers, this one has quite a lengthy list of, uh, what should we call them? Like design obstacles that we're working with. I'm gonna open up the suitcase because it was a process to get here by myself with all this stuff uh, on the subway. And then I have a few words for some of you who were very upset with me for the window situation. I'm gonna catch you guys up after this. This is a very heavy suitcase that is full to the brim of everything in there. And then I also have this bag. This is actually pillows and a Christmas tree. So we've got that. To the list of like weird challenges with this apartment, there is one more and Annie actually touched on it on her most recent YouTube video. There's something that can happen to you if you're a foreigner in Korea and that is called the bank. For Annie's bank account, somebody messed up her name, which is very common because they switch the names in the computers and sometimes they use all caps, sometimes it's all lowercase, sometimes they move like your middle name is your first name or your last name is your first name or there's just so many different mistakes that can be made when they're typing in a foreigner's name into the computer. Somewhere along the line, Annie's one of those messed up her name and she can't actually do any online shopping here. So that means that I've got to buy it and send it here. But also somewhere down the line, they messed up my name and I can't change my address. So I can only send things to my house, not to her house. So um, anything that we need for this house, it has to be something that I can carry physically here in a suitcase. So this is another random thing we're going to add to our list of Annie's apartment. In the last video, some of you were really upset. Yes, of course. You never want to block natural light in an apartment. That's always a golden rule in any home. You want natural light to come in. But in this apartment, if you had watched the previous videos, in this window, one whole side of it is actually this really dirty window. And then you have these silver uh, piping from an air conditioner unit and you have this really big metal air conditioner box. The other side of that does have a little bit of light coming into it, but there's an apartment right there. The only way to set up these bookshelves on this end is like that. And there is that gap between the wall. It does bug me too. We're really having to weigh what is more valuable to you. What I've been finding with this makeover is that nothing in this apartment makeover is really ideal, not the perfect options for everything. We're just trying to choose the best option for the space that we're working with. This makeover is not over yet. Things might move again, but right now they're staying like this because it's the best option for this space. And one more thing before we start, I wanna to explain to you why some of the ideas you suggested aren't wouldn't work in this situation. I feel like you guys are in this makeover with me, so I wanna to explain to you so that we all have like a, good understanding of what's going on in here. One of the problems with having the bookshelves here whenever um, we had them and what you guys couldn't see, and I don't know if you've noticed this before, but this ceiling here, it actually comes down pretty low and it was pretty short. Whenever we had the two bookshelves on this wall or even just one bookshelf, it felt even smaller and kind of more claustrophobic. That's why I suggested moving them. So one of the things that we did try, uh, the tall bookshelf, we tried to put it against the wall. It actually leaned out like this and it just wasn't sturdy whatsoever and we can't secure them to the wall. I was kind of afraid that it might fall down. I think the floor in that area is just not level. Okay, so that's one thing. Did try putting bookshelves here and it just looked overpowering in the space, which is why I wanted to push them back. And then the other suggestion was, why don't we put them here? As kind of a room divider. This bed has doors right here and you have to have space on either side if we were to flip it to be able to open them. So if you did that, then you would lose a lot of space and suddenly having a like a lounge area wouldn't exist. And then one of you guys said, just get rid of the furniture and we can't, the furniture has to stay here. So one thing I am going to try and do is just quickly reupholster this. I think Annie is <laughs> over all the blue um though i think these chairs are really beautiful i wanted to add kind of a feminine touch to these i thought this kind of blended nicely together
first of all these are so soft i like that it has kind of a small feminine touch to it but it's also it also just blends so well it's not overpowering for the space i think actually next i'm going to map out this wall get these off of the floor and that will hopefully make the space less congested so let me finish this stool She actually had these strings, this singular, this string of stars, and they're super cute. It just makes you happy. I feel like that's what she needs in here. She's have some extra leopard fabric. What if we make a little tree skirt out of leopard? Well, she'll probably need to get more lights. Those were very small for that tree, but look, just a little something festive and fun in here. I cannot wait to see what all of our frames look like together. We have a collection of art, so hopefully it works out well. But one of the things that we want to cover is her sofa. There is There are a couple of stains here. Anybody need some buttons? I got a bunch. Step one. Buttons removed. Honestly, I just think it's gonna be too pink. It's gonna be too bright. So um, I'm gonna hold off. I'm just gonna leave it draped here. We're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna work on everything else. And if we don't like it, I have one other option at home that I can do, which is just really fucking bright. Uh, if, you're, if you're here, if you could see it in real life, I'm thinking it's really bright. I am organizing frames to see what we have. We can't put nails in the walls, so we are limited to using any frames that have this flat back for these command strips. This is my favorite way to make gallery, gallery walls at home or just stick frames on the walls. These are the Ikea Piscopo frame, maybe. They're really affordable. They have this flat back, so it's really nice for the Velcro to stick on here. And it's great for Korea because we have wallpapered walls. Really has never ripped off my wallpaper unless Izzy like tore them off and then ripped the wallpaper. But this is not necessarily the art that's going to stay in here. This is just what I had at home. So I want to get it up there and then I actually brought paper so that I can make some art for these if we need to because our budget is running thin. One other quick tip with these command hooks that I've learned from my own error is that if you're putting these up, you can see how I, in the beginning, uh, I had it like this. And this is a bit excessive for the weight. If you're going to hang it, say we're gonna hang it vertically like this, from the side, you can actually see the Velcro. So I prefer to do it on the top so that it's less noticeable. I think I got something that I kind of like a little bit funky. I brought a bunch of prints. I have kind of this pinky color with green in here I was thinking we can use and like this. Okay, these are very, very well rolled. Oh my God. From these frames that we can't use because of the hooks, I think we can just take out some of these photos. This one's kind of funky and fun and maybe instead of putting the pink I mean, so cool we can throw some on the wall. Isn't this gonna be so cute with so cute together? This was like uh, kind of like this was the shade of pink we were going for in the sofa. Kind of, um, if I could name it, it would be like a moody pink. And instead, we got bright pink. That's okay. We're gonna change. We're gonna be flexible. No problem. I got any new pillows. I've never bought pillows online before. <laughs> This is how they sent them. Like those um, little sponges that we as kids 
we could throw in the sink like you get them wet and they turn into like a dinosaur towel or something those are awesome that's what this reminds me of except it's just a flat square turns into a pillow so it's the little things in life you know I think having cozy bedding is going to be key for her and her pillows are a little floppy over there so I wanted to get her more Annie's here. Hi. <laughs> We're just going through Annie's stuff. Just wondering if I can get rid of all these empty boxes. But like, what if I need them? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever need? I mean, it is hard to get rid of cute boxes. Yeah, I just like them so much that I keep them on my floor. Do you like stepping on them at night? Love. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to save all these boxes for you? Oh, I mean, I guess we can get rid of them. If I did this while you were gone, would you know that I even threw away your empty boxes? <laughs> no, you would have no idea. <laughs> no, I'd, I'd probably be like, wow, this place looks really <laughs> What did you do? <laughs> I the part where I like, get out the whole bag of empty That's all empty <laughs> bottles? <laughs> Annie! That's just empty? <laughs> That's um, not all empty. I mean, some of. I was <laughs> looking for she that. Found something. I was looking for that. See, you never would have. <laughs> what? It's broken. Annie, there's not even anything left here. <laughs> what if I need it? I use the the. You don't have one of those like in brow gel or something. No. Okay, well let's just put that <laughs> over here. Right there. Yeah. Right there. there. Annie loves the little wall, gallery wall, and the tree set. Let me show you. I still, because Annie came home, I didn't have a chance to finish this area, so we'll do that another day, but her little tree is here. Um, we're gonna clean up all this. I feel like I need to catch this on camera. Go ahead. Uh, I just feel like... If I left right now... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even bother like unloading. I would just find a way to like, sleep around. Well, that's what I wondered because <laughs> the last time when we left all the stuff on the sofa and you're like, I'll clean it up, you guys go. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, are you sure, Annie? We can stay and help. And you're like, no, you guys go. <laughs> and then I came today and it's all over the sofa. And now here it is. <laughs> this is yeah, it. Yeah, I'll clean it up. Don't worry. I also wanted to ask, so the closet's not working, right? No. no. <laughs> Did you do your homework? I, I gave you homework I, three weeks ago. You didn't, you didn't do it. Did you think about it? I did think about it and then I just, <laughs> <laughs> and that's where I stayed, it stayed a thought. So um, did you get rid of any of your clothes? I literally can't even get rid of boxes, I don't know why. I know, right? <laughs> you need me, you need me you to push you, you're right. Well no, I thought about it and I was like, but what if I like get rid of half my clothes and then I have nothing to wear and then I regret but it. it's then, even though I don't wear half of my clothes, but like what if like- What if? Comes, yeah, a day comes where I just need that like very out of season top that I haven't worn in two years. Any the way this works is that you declutter. Yes. I feel like you skip that stuff. <laughs> You're like, whoop, let's just go over here. Maybe we should just have a really quick session. It's gonna it's gonna be pain free. Oh, okay. Cause you're here. I actually need you to get rid of a few things that you don't wear. It might hurt just a little oh, what bit. What if I want it in like six months time? It, it's happened before. Okay, we're gonna put okay. it in a separate I might need it later, but we're gonna put it under your bed. Oh, okay. So that I can do that by myself. Totally. Well, you said you told me with your homework the first time, and uh, when you said with the sofa. I, promise, I, I promise. don't trust you. I'm but here's the thing: with me, you can do it in five minutes. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's do it. Oh yes! I forced Annie to go through her closet, and it's already looking so much better. We have a clothing pile of summer down there. And then over here is the no pile, and we've worked our way over here. So we have one, two, three, four piles left to go. All right, Annie. Okay, okay. Show them what you what you got. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Summer, uh, winter, fall. I'm not sure what. I think it's one of those when it's like once I get to the gym. So we're gonna so put it over here. Yes. Later pile. Yeah. Summer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do I what? Oh, did ah. you get, no, no. That's really cute. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's super cute. 
Uh, summer. Next one. Have, Ooh, have, what? Have, like, still has a label on it. Have not and will not ever wear it. <laughs> ah, it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. Okay. It's gone. Yeah. Never worn it, but will. Yes. Summer. Summer. This is what we wore <laughs> in, like, uni to go out. We did not wear this when I really? went out in uni. <laughs> really? No. I was like the Northwest hippie. We went out with greasy hair and our flannels and our rain boots. Oh, interesting. She has a lot of half tops. Like, yeah. I mean, past actually, you made it look really good. I kind of want to keep it now. Did you hear that? <laughs> Advice. Oh, no. Enforcing Annie no. to go through everything. She was hiding a bag. Look at all this space. I actually, I needed to go home a while back. I can hear my husband text me, but I am so happy that she's here and we're finally going through this. I'm not assigning you any more homework anymore because you're not going to do it. Did you ever do your homework in college? Uh, absolutely not. I see. I know. It this is, tape for. It's boob tape. This is boob tape. <laughs> Definitely not first aid. Can you turn around for a sec? Because I'm on something. <laughs> Hold on. We've got to censor so much. <laughs> oh, my, I was looking for that. <laughs> just her passport just happened to be with all of her socks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is going to go with the important documents. Okay, yeah. Do you need this? For the memories. Okay. Do all these work? Um, my husband would hate it. I leave mine like this too and he gets so mad at me. <laughs> I feel like your um, subscribers are gonna think I'm such a hot mess. She's not a hot mess. You <laughs> are just out of college. Like, this is how I was too. Oh, really? Don't worry. I'm that's a, that's the <laughs> yeah. You're gonna yeah. use that? No, I just, trash. <laughs> just she that. likes to keep dirty sponges. No. <laughs> Do you need this? Um, I thought I got rid of this a long time ago. <laughs> it's still empty. It's empty. <gasps> then proud? we're finally getting. Yeah, I'm so one proud. One thing, one thing out of the. No, I, I oh, emptied that. That was me. Oh, empty. <laughs> but you kept it. Em okay, I'll give it. I'll give it to you. Let's just have a final look at these shelves back here. It looks so good. So many are empty. We've gone through everything. Mm -hmm. <sighs> uh, wait, this box. What's in this box? It's just samples. Samples of skincare. Are you ever going to use those? Yeah! Are these samples too? <laughs> That's super late, so I'm going to come finish a lot of stuff tomorrow, and I'm so happy that I was able to stay late with Annie because we finally went through the bookshelves and it looks so much better. It's kind of a mess, but that's because I am coming back tomorrow but this is where we're stopping today so I feel like this is really the only accomplishment I have for today no I we did this I did the stools um, we're gonna change wait till she she needs to wash her bedding so we'll work on that later but the main accomplishment was that we organized stuff not organized we decluttered okay, okay perfect. bye, bye.